and I don't know that he was in that basement the whole time. How could me, my wife, the Detroit police, the FBI, and all of these task force who have lived in my house, did he have a key to the house? He was eating. It was implied that perhaps that your ex, your your current wife, might have been keeping him down there <sighs> and hiding him perhaps from you. That is absurd. Does your ex-wife That is absurd. Does she say that she's told you point blank that she does not know where he is? Yes, she has. Period. My wife wouldn't do that. Would you have noticed? If, would, you have, would you have noticed any disturbing of the property? I mean, you would have noticed he was coming in and out, wouldn't you? I, you know, I can think I would have, but I, I would think that I would have noticed that he had um, a Twitter account that I didn't know about, which the FBI told me, and some, you know, additional money that they found. So, I mean, as a parent, you do everything you can to keep as close a track on your children as you can. Did he have a key? Could he have gone in and out? We had extra keys around. I mean, so it's possible. We have extra keys. Are they? Are any of them missing at this point? Have you looked at that? I, or? I, that, that hasn't. That hasn't. That hadn't crossed my mind. A lot of people it were hadn't. talking earlier about the whole lie detector situation. Uh, your wife declined to take one with Detroit police. You said yes to the FBI. The um, FBI and the FBI and did not ask my wife. Um, Agent Scott Wheeler, Special Agent Scott Wheeler, after I declined to take the lie detector with um, the Detroit police because of the way the lieutenant treated me and my family, the agent said, well, okay, what about with the FBI? And I said, yes, absolutely, because I didn't do anything to my son, mm -hmm. and I believe my son is going to be found safe and alive, and I want him home. Did your wife the volunteer? Did, did she consider volunteering for the FBI the, examination? Uh, the FBI didn't ask her. If the FBI would have asked her, I don't see my, why my wife wouldn't have. But to be clear, the FBI asked me me and not her. But if but you were looking to divert attention, it. why not volunteer her? But listen, the FBI, obviously the focus was on me. And even today, I got a call from the reporters and even from you guys saying that they're looking at this as possibly, you know what I'm saying, um, a, a homicide case. You know, the focus was on me and that's why they asked me and I wanted to clear it up, point blank. If the agent, if the agent would have asked my wife to um, take a polygraph test, she would have had no reason not to because my wife didn't do anything to my son, just like I've been saying that I didn't. And you guys are both still willing in the aftermath of everything that's happened here, you're both willing to take polygraphs with the FBI now to show that you had no knowledge I want to take, I want to take it with the media because the FBI doesn't release that kind of information and I want this information out to the public. Period. I want my name cleared and my family name clear, and I want my family to be able to go forward. So I'm asking you, the media, to get the retired FBI, CIA agents, however you guys do it, because I want the truth out to the public. But Charlie, they said that it looked like there was a barricade, that someone had to have constructed you know, yeah, it. He would have needed help to construct like, it. Charlie couldn't have you know done what? that on his own. It looked like maybe there was some food place. And you can go down there. and look at it. I mean, it was a big five-gallon drum. Do you think your son's no, big I enough had, to lift that? Uh, listen. Oh, have you seen the pictures of my son? <laughs> my son, um, and where exactly he was found? What were the subject? The was he in the drum? No, he was no, behind the container. No. But they said he was. Okay, we have all kinds of stuff. Right, but but okay, you know what? After um, after after you know after disappearing like that, um, I'm sure he would be nervous. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course. I mean, why would he not be nervous? Simple as that. What are you How going to soon do will you be able to see your home? son? When I'm going to, that's going to be up to police chief Craig and these other folks, I'm supposing. And I hope they don't leave before I get a chance to ask them or talk with them because I want to talk with them. So um, my son, he's obviously going to need some counseling. He still needs to get his education. He needs to move forward with his life. So I'm going to do everything that I can, can to help my son get his life back on track, which is what I've been doing right along. The evidence was already taken out of that house. And see, evidence is implying that we did something wrong, just like people were accusing me of being a murder. It's only evidence if there was some crime committed. No crime committed here. That's not there what been happened. Any sort of any other sort of abuse? There was blood evidence that was taken out of that house. Yeah. There was no abuse of my son. There was no, there, they, they said that there was evidence of a murder. That was nonsense then and it's nonsense what now. What do you think Charlie's going to tell him? What do you think his explanation is going to be? You know your there, son. Would there be any blood um, evidence from I, you a know, I know, I know, I know my son to a certain extent, but I can tell you, I can't say what my son is going to say to them. And I don't want to do any more guessing. There's been guessing about me being a murder, actually being a murder. I'm a nurse. I take care of people for a living. That's sure. what I do. Oh, sure. And I take care of my son, which is what I've done his whole life. 
like, so I don't want to do any more guess and I want to get to the facts, which is why I asked the media to do a lie detector test so that we can get to the facts. That's why this has been the focus, my whole focus through all of this. That's why I agreed with agent, um, with the FBI agents when they when they asked me, they said, okay, let's get to it. That's why I agree with the FBI agents and that's why I'm asking the media right now still, hey, let's do a polygraph so we can put it out, all of these all right, questions and then you wonder about us. Charlie ever said, I'm going to hide, I'm going to run away, and can you actually see him being able to do this? Charlie ran away before. But just for a so few hours. Did. Well, he was found within a few hours. You know, he was found within a few hours. So, you know, what his intention, you know, was there, I mean, I can't say. But you know what? Right now, I'm happy that my son is home, and I want to catch... Um, the chief and the other, okay, go ahead. are we'll they, are they leaving? Go ahead. I want to catch them before they leave. I want to catch them before they leave.